man just uh you know chilling we'll do another little install video from uh the instructions seems like a pretty easy install but uh i'm gonna go ahead and start that out i've uh, been looking at this part for a while ain't really seen a whole lot of people with it but um i went and ordered it came in yesterday so i'm gonna go ahead and uh try it out see what it's looking like part I'm talking about is is a rear window spoiler from um, Spoiler Kings rear window spoiler Spoiler Kings of course you know Amazon came through and uh, to be honest man I thought it was like a, a hard plastic piece I was gonna take it up to my boys up here in Jacksonville leveled up customs to see if they could uh paint it gloss black but it said matte black but it's, it's got a little gloss to it man so I'm not even gonna paint it and then it said to paint it they need like some special type of paints called like some flex paint or something uh flex agent paint so I'm not even gonna mess with that, man. And then it says like once it's painted, don't bend it because it's gonna crack or whatever. So I'm gonna avoid that headache. I'm just gonna put it on like that. But that's basically what it looked like. Rear window spoiler. It's got a little gloss to it. I already put it on the car. It don't look bad at all. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, start that out. I don't know if you can see it, but uh, that's that's basically what the finished product gonna look like once you know I align it better, get it on there. But definitely uh, it's noticeable. It's kind of dark in here in the garage, but see, don't look too bad. Don't look too bad. Yeah, I'm going to start that off. They said the first step, you know, obviously clean the glass and then clean it with Windex and then alcohol and then uh, clean the, this thing off. But uh, that's about it, man. I'm going to go ahead and knock that out real quick. And then um, once I finish cleaning the glass, show you uh, the next step. Stay tuned. Alright, alright, man. It says to put like a, to center it. I don't know if you can see it. I'm gonna put like a little, little line with a crayon right there. Right there. You know, to, to center it. Put the center of the roof, even though, man, it's, it's dead on. Like, you don't have no room to play with, man. So they, they made it exact fit, basically. And then it said to, uh, put it on the dash for like, 30 minutes so it like I guess bends you know gets the bend of the the window the, the contour of the window to it but uh I'm not gonna put it on there it's too hot over here in Florida for all that man I might put it on the dash for like 10 minutes because uh you know it's already a pretty snug fit and then it says uh with the heat that it could expand so I really don't need to expand it man it's already like pretty tight so I'm going to put it on the dash for like 10 minutes while I clean the windshield. And then uh, on to the next step. Oh, clean the back window, I mean. And then on to the next step. And I'll be back. Alright, as you see, got the glass all cleaned up. I just took the thing off the dash. And your next step would be cut right in the middle it said cut the lines and then peel one inch off like both sides and then obviously center it on the back window and once you get it centered start pulling the, the tabs out and you know pressing down on it so it's about to be the next step I'm about to do now and um, probably just gonna go ahead and knock it out man you just peel these put it center it pull the tabs off press down on it and then it says to use maxing tape 
which I bought a new roll. Masking tape. You know, to hold it down. It says 24 hours, man, but I'm about to just leave it on there like five, six hours. It should be straight. But uh about to knock that out and then I'll show you uh what the finished product looking like. I'll look. Alright guys, uh this is the finished product. I just pulled it out the garage so you can kinda get a better look of it. You know, I'm gonna leave the tape and set tape it like that for twenty four hours, man, but I've already tried to like pull it up and it's pretty strong already, man, so I'll probably leave it like that for about four or five hours and then take the tape off, see what it is. Obviously I'm gonna put it back in the garage that way the sun don't Stick that damn tape to my paint. But, uh, yeah, man. That's what it's looking like, man. You know, with, without the tape, it looks a lot better. I know it's hard to concentrate on the, the spoiler when you're looking at them flakes. You see that shit shining. It's hard to concentrate on anything else, but, uh, yeah. You know, I'll have a link in the description. Spoiler Kings, rear spoiler. It's for 15, 15 chargers and up. Uh, I think it's like 120, something like that. Well, here it is, guys, the final product. Uh, spoiler King rear wheel, uh, rear window spoiler. You know, got it off Amazon. I have the description, all that. Buck 20. You know. Kind of hard to pick it up on the camera, but definitely adds a little bit something to the back end, man. Yeah. If you're new to the channel, man, hit that subscribe, man. Like and comment. I'll let your boy. I got some other stuff coming in the mail now. And like I said, I'm going all in now, man. Unless something, something financially, something crazy happens where you already know. Holla at your boy. Filet Hemi over and out.